I'm very interested in the oceans. Uh, we're not working on this either right now, but um, I, I think that there is a huge opportunity. If we look at, you know, uh, the most stable uh, patterns of, of weather globally and where life persists consistently, it's somewhere between 30 and 70 feet uh, under the water. And it's pretty stable there, regardless of like the ocean churn above it. Mm. So if you could uh, build tools and technologies to, to make coral more resilient and through synthetic biology, not by just macro, by micro fragmentation, then all of it grow faster, but it's still going to die. So you have to do genetically modified corals. Um, if you do that and you build closed systems for uh, underwater living, I think that's really interesting. That's very interesting. Because I mean, if you, if you look at if you look at the ocean and you look at the surface of the earth, like like you could build. I mean, what is the economic value of the California coast? A trillion dollars? I don't know. It's a lot, right? A lot. If you owned all of it, well, there's no wildfires thirty feet under. You have to build closed systems. So the same technologies that you're developing without needing ma major heat uh, and cooling inversions and radiation tolerance that you're spending a fortune on cost a kilogram to put to space, you could apply those same technologies to Earth. Um, and, and, you know, work on underwater cities.